morning traders, this is Brian with TraderShark.com, an educational website to learn how to trade the E-mini S&P futures. Today is Wednesday, September 12, 2012. The market opened up this morning here at 1437.5, represented by this white dotted line. We generally don't trade the first 15 minutes of the day. Coming out of the no trade zone, we had an opportunity to get short. A couple different opportunities here. Um, we were really close to opening price, so in hindsight, Probably not a good idea. We generally don't trade within one point of opening price. Had an opportunity to get target one, and from a very basic perspective, you would have had, uh, if you brought your stop in, you would have got a stopped out from minus two ticks. Got target one off, did not get target two, got stopped out. Another situation, we also had uh, an opportunity. To, other indications were showing us that we should probably continue down, and we jumped down with two more contracts. So you can range anywhere from minus two ticks to minus 12 ticks in this particular scenario. Uh, conservatively, minus two, aggressively, we had talk, taken a 12 tick loss on that particular trade. Price action pulled back to the moving average, and then it pulled into the, the direction we thought it was going to go. Uh, the sell off was consistent, and then we had another opportunity to get short. We wait for pullbacks, and you can see this pullback here did not give us an opportunity to get in. Here, we jumped in, got target one, and got stopped out for minus two ticks. We then found a little bit of a support level here around the 1432 level. We thought we were going to go for the full gap fill, and that's why we got the reduced risk stop here. Came back up, crossed over our moving averages. We had we were in, I entered a long position and uh, got some of our internal indicators. We were trying to go right back into opening price, so I flattened. And then um, our market internals gave us a little more indication we were going to continue higher. Had another opportunity to jump in right here at around, what, just before 1120. Long opportunity, target one, target two. Kept the tar targets really tight, particular situation, just because of the choppiness going on without the, uh, the uncertainty of the FOMC announcement tomorrow. And we got a total of six ticks on that trade. Then we go into a no trade zone from 11.30 until 1.15 Eastern Standard Time. Had coming out of the no trade zone, had an opportunity to get short. Got target one hop, got stopped out for minus two ticks. That's okay. We kept in, It's just money management, right? We're keeping safe. And then uh, we noticed a nice pullback to the moving average. Would have been a great opportunity to get in here. We had what was a tangled net going on at that time. Then uh, a nice pullback, opportunity to get short right there just before 3 o'clock. Target one and target two were hit for a trend trade of a total of 10 ticks. And that was it for the day. Um, we do have a final no trade zone here at 3.50 in the afternoon, but there was a nice clean setup. You can see how it lined up with our anchor chart confirmed for an opportunity to get another six ticks if you did. But uh, we don't generally take any trades in that no trade zone. To learn more about these and more advanced trade setups or to get a copy of the TraderShark trading manual, please visit TraderShark.com. Thank you, and I'll see you in the Shark Den in the morning.